Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about the normal form of an equation. So, you know, what is the normal form of an equation? So, that's a, of, of a line, I'm sorry. So, uh, how do we get the normal form of a line? Uh, let's suppose we have the y-axis and we have the x-axis. And let's suppose we have a line like this. Now, a normal form would actually require... Uh, two things, right? So the first thing that it requires, it's the length of, it's actually the value of P. What is P? P is the length of the distance from the origin uh, to the line. It's the perpendicular distance from the origin to the line. So P is nothing but the distance from the origin to the line, right? So you know, that is the value of P. The next thing that we will require is the angle that the uh, that the perpendicular makes with the x-axis. So let's call this as angle theta. So theta, it's the angle. It's actually the positive angle that the line makes, uh, that the that the perpendicular makes uh, with the x-axis. So what do you mean by a positive angle? That means every time, even if the line is something which is, uh, I'm just going to draw it here. Uh, let's just draw it here. So let's suppose even if the line is, something like uh, you know if the line is something like this then the 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 value of theta it's still going to be like this if the line is something like let's say this the value of theta is actually going to be something like this it's always going to be a positive angle which means this is always going to rotate uh, anti clockwise right so you know if you want to know more about angles you should watch the angles video in the playlist uh, well okay so theta is something that we need to know and the value of p is something that we need to know and this is the value of p now let's try to find the equation of this line let's suppose the line is called line l now uh, one thing over here is we're going to actually drop a perpendicular all the way till here like this and uh, what is the value of p in terms of so this is the origin and this is m and this is a now if we kind of pick up this triangle which is o m and a this is theta and this is p so if this is p we know that base over hypotenuse is cos theta so this over here uh, is actually going to be equal to uh, p cos theta and uh, the value of am is actually going to be equal to p sin theta. Why is that? Because the value of perpendicular uh, that is am over the hypotenuse is equal to sin theta. And the value of base which is om over the base over the hypotenuse is actually equal to cos theta. Right. So this is p sin theta and so this is p cos theta and this is p sin theta. Now. What is the slope of this line? What is the slope of line OA? That is actually equal to the value of tangent theta. So the slope of line A, it's uh, actually equal to uh, tangent theta, uh, which is actually equal to sine theta by cos theta. You know, something that we already know, sine theta by cos theta. Another thing is, what is the slope of line L? So the slope of line uh, slope of line L that is actually going to be equal to the inverse of tangent theta. Why is that? Because these two lines are perpendicular to each other. So if the lines are perpendicular to each other, the product of their slopes is equal to negative one, something that we have covered in the previous videos. So if the lines are perpendicular to each other, the, the product of their slopes is negative one. So if the slope of this line is uh, tangent theta, the slope of this line is going to be equal to one over tangent theta. Which means this is going to be equal to negative cosine theta over sine theta because uh, tangent theta is sine over cos. The cos will go up and we're going to have the value of negative sine theta over cos theta. Now since this distance over here it's p cos theta and this distance over here it's p sine theta. The coordinates of A are going to be equal to uh, p cos theta and p sine theta. Right. So the coordinates of A is going to be equal to P cos theta and P sin theta. Now something that we know about this line L, uh, according to this line L has these two things. The slope of line L is actually equal to negative cos theta over sin theta and the line passes through this point which has the x coordinate as P cos theta and P sin theta. 
Now something that we know is we know the point from which the line passes and we know the slope from which uh, slope of the line. Now using these two things we can actually very easily define or very easily find out the uh, equation of the line. Now what is the equation of the line? The equation of the line is given as y is equal to mx plus c. What is y here? y is something which is p sin theta. So p sin theta will come here. What is the value of m here? The value of m Okay, in fact, there is actually a better way to it. Uh, what is the value of slope? Slope is something which is given as uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, slope is something which is given by this expression. So, this is equal to slope. Slope is equal to negative cos theta over sin theta, which is equal to y. Uh, y is any point on the line minus this value of y here, which is equal to uh, p sin theta. So, that is actually equal to p sin theta. So, it will come here and uh, divided by x. x is any point on the line. Since we are trying to find the equation of the line, x is any point on the line uh, and minus x2, which is going to be equal to p cos theta. Right, so we have something like this here. So if we try to, uh, you know, if we kind of try to solve this equation up, I'm just going to divide this into two parts. Now this over here, uh, if you're going to take this to that side, we're going to have negative cosine theta into x minus p cos theta. That is going to be equal to sine theta into y minus p sine theta. Right, so we kind of took everything to that side. Now we're going to take care of it. This is going to be negative x cos theta. Uh, this is going to be positive p cos square theta, uh, which is going to be equal to y sine theta minus p sine square theta. Right, so that is something that we have. Now, if I take this to that side and I bring this here, we're going to have uh, p cos square theta which is this. So this is going to become positive. We're going to have p sine square theta. Uh, that is equal to y sine theta plus x cos theta. Now if I kind of take p common from here, we're going to get cos square theta plus sine square theta and uh, the same thing here. Uh, since cos square theta and sine square theta is actually equal to 1, we're going to have the value of p to be equal to y sine theta uh, plus x cos theta and that is what is the normal equation of a line right it's the equation of the line in terms of the perpendicular distance uh, of the line from the origin and the angle made so what is p p is the perpendicular distance of the line uh, from the origin that is 0 comma 0 and the theta is the angle made by the perpendicular with the x-axis the positive angle made by the perpendicular with the x-axis right so uh, this is the normal form i suppose you've understood this one here guys uh, thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one